So far, and I hope you're safe and healthy. Welcome to another sketchbook session. Today, I painted some more detailed close up photos and references since I've mainly painted like larger landscapey photos in the sketchbook so far, and oh, except for that one plant. Um, so I wanted to paint some fruit and like I have painted peaches before and I oh, I have painted strawberries before on this channel but they were very small and not really the point of the page that it was on so <laughs> I just wanted to paint like a whole bunch of them and um, there was greenery in this I really like painting plants and stuff although they ended up not being as detailed. Anyway, um, I didn't really paint it exactly like the reference that I chose. Um, I chose like a couple of the spots in the references that I liked, like a couple of the flowers and a couple of the leaves and of course strawberries. Um, yeah, I tried to go for a different style with this because I typically avoid this kind of reference because of how many layers and chaos there is with the leaves and um how dense the bush is and whatever uh so knowing that like i can't paint that accurately i just try to leave it messy um like i knew it was gonna end up being messy <laughs> so it was fine for me i guess um there's just so many more things going on with this kind of bush that is just really hard to <laughs> to differentiate um all the leaves all the stems of the strawberries and the details of the strawberries themselves and blah 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 and so at the end it's not like really clear and concise what all the leaves are but i kind of like it like that um and then it leaves the strawberries as the main focus, especially because they're like highlighted, you know, the contrast and whatever. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I also struggled a lot with getting the paint to work with me a little bit because, well, I mean, gouache dries differently than, um, like it dries into a different color usually when it's uh, what you, like what you think it's going to be is not <laughs> it's not always accurate so what I thought would be like a lighter green dries into a darker green what I thought would be a darker green dries into a lighter green so when I tried to layer like the different greens for different leaves um it would just end up being one green so I'm <laughs> struggling a lot um so I kind of just went on to highlighting the strawberries instead um i this is definitely my favorite part adding the little white seed things to the strawberries and i think the focal point of this painting because everything else is just mess <laughs> um i haven't tried to start studying color theory yet but i think it would have definitely helped if I knew more about it while I was painting this, um, I wanted to get the la the shadows and layers to look right, um, but was struggling because, like I said, the greens were just becoming one green, and 
I mean, I tried to do a couple of things, like I added blue here and there to make it darker and stuff. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of white went into this. <laughs> too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to work on studying color theory for the next couple of pages at least. Um, don't know how that's gonna turn out, but yeah. <laughs> Let's hope for that. Um, honestly, because I was struggling with getting the colors to look right, the footage for this one was like really repetitive and took a lot of going over the same stuff a lot repetitively. <laughs> um, because I think I, I was going along because I didn't choose the spots that were like right next to each other on the, the reference, um, I kind of had to make up where some of the leaves would be and so I had to decide what was foreground and what was background. A lot of the times the colors wouldn't be contrasted and prominent enough for me so I would keep going over it and then it was just, yeah, it was really repetitive. Um, it was fun to paint this though. Um, I. really at least at least the strawberries look okay to me um i think they came out in the way that i wanted it to so that's fine the leaves are a different story but that's okay because i knew it would end up like this this is why i avoid this kind of reference um from far away it doesn't look too bad i think anyway um, yeah uh because it was just it was just so much layering like i could keep painting this for a long time, I just, in the end, I kind of decided that this was the end of the layering at some point. Um, I also didn't want to use too much colored pencil for this one to add details, like I usually do, because I think that would have made it too textured, I think, and I don't think I would have liked it, so... Yeah, I didn't really do that. Yeah, although it was a struggle, I think I definitely want to paint more fruit and stuff like this where it has a lot of confusing layers and figure out how to paint something like that since I clearly don't know how. <laughs> um, the second painting was a lot more simple and that's kind of why I chose it because strawberries are hard and um, I also wanted something that was within the same color scheme kind of as the strawberry one um since this one had a pink and green and so the colors are kind of like opposite and in inverted and stuff yeah anyway you get the point um <laughs> i do think i could have been more detailed with this but it's fine. The whole page is just like this messy theme. Okay, that's that's what's happening here. Um, I I think um, the greenery could have been a little bit more detailed, but it's fine. It's fine. I also like kind of missed doing texture stuff. Um, well, I say that, but I add texture to every single painting of mine okay anyway so I made the wall a lot more texture than the reference <laughs> but so yeah I watched spider-verse again I rewatched it um, because I mentioned that I want to paint scenes from it and so I wanted to pick the scenes and I think I've picked them and hopefully the next one will be <laughs> painting spider-verse um, I think that will also help with the color theory because there's a lot of color theory going on um, and a lot of the scenes that I chose, the colors are very contrasted and clear and hopefully I can figure out how the hell to do that. <laughs> the thing is, like, it's also going to be um, a lot of perspective <laughs> stuff that I didn't really 
think about, so <laughs> I guess I'll do that too. Oh my god. It's gonna be pretty difficult, but I think it'll also be very fun. Um, also because it's like very comic book e <laughs> comic booky. Um, the graphics of the movie are very like different from the references that I usually look at, so this will be a difficult time, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, after watching it, I was like really inspired and I hope I can do it soon because if I don't, I'm going to like procrastinate it and never do it because it's gonna scare me and then we're just gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna try it. Yep, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna will it. <laughs> if I say it, I have to do it because then it makes me accountable and so, the next one will be the Spider-Verse screen caps. I also want to do a Studio Ghibli one because if I didn't, who am I? <laughs> Probably not the next one, but the one after that. Um, I don't know which movie to paint from though for the Studio Ghibli one, so if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Um, I have painted Porco Rosso Spirited It Away, How's Moving Castle, and Ponyo, and Kiki's Delivery Service. So if you want to, I mean, whatever movie you want to see me paint from, I will paint from, but, um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot that I haven't painted from. There's a lot more that I haven't paint, painted from yet, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm <laughs> just gonna paint a Studio Ghibli one. I think that's it. I don't know. Like I was kind of struggling to come up with what to say for a voiceover and now it's like over 10 minutes. So that's good. Um, but I think I've run out now. So I will leave if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you for watching as always. Um, Leave a comment if you want to, and <laughs> suggestion, and I hope you have a great rest of your day, and stay safe and healthy, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!